to my crazy life. It's Lori and Wellington. He likes all the things I brought home. Today I have a Dollar Tree haul for you. Uh-uh, you get down, sir. I got a Dollar Tree haul and it's pretty big. It's a I think it's all Christmas or Christmas related. Sorry, he moved my camera on me. So yes, I wanted to show you what I got because some of this stuff, when it's gone, it's gone. So you really want to kind of get out there and look quickly for the food items, but I'll get there. First off, I went to Target, like you do. And um, I just picked up a couple little things. I'll have a Target Christmas haul for you, but I had to show you these. I love this. It's a ball shooter. It's a penguin. Guys, it's a penguin. And my boys, these cats, love these balls. I have several of them for them. Um, so you put the ball in and then you squeeze the body. You want to get that ball really good. And you squeeze the body and the ball goes flying across the room. So the boys, I, like I said, I've got several of those. And they like to chase them around the house. So I grabbed the penguin this year for them. Just to play with. They don't, once they catch the ball, they don't do much with it. They just like to chase after the ball. So I grabbed that. And then I grabbed this for my desk at work. And it says reindeer games begin, oh, reindeer games this way. They had a lot of cute notebooks, but I need to stop buying notebooks. But here I am buying notebooks. Um, but I'm only getting one notepad. And this is for my desk at work. So once I bring in all of my work stuff, I will have that. Um, I found these. I probably could have gotten more, but it wasn't really necessary. But this is the Duncan Hines family size brownie mix, thick and fudgy. I make brookies for my coworkers sometimes. They really like it, and you need a brownie mix. I'm like, well, for a dollar, it's name brand. And the good through date on here is February 24th of 2021. So definitely a good... It's going to be good, and I'll use it up this holiday season. I may make brookies for my cookie trays, since I already have the cookies. Um, for the boys, I grabbed two more of these cat dishes. If you have see these and you have a cat or small dogs, um, this bottom here is rubber. So they don't scooch it across your floor while they're eating a little bit of wet food that I give them. Um, and I have two already, so I grabbed two more. Um, that way I, I rotate through the dishwasher, but they each get, it works out to be a quarter of a can. They get the Sheba perfect portion. So the container snaps in half and they each split a half. So I grabbed, I have them in teal and I grabbed the two purple for the boys because I don't have children. So I shop for my cats. Um, I got some of these paint pens. I love them. If you haven't tried crafting with these, I highly recommend. I thought I was buying black, but this, I believe, is navy blue, which is fine because it'll come in handy this summer. Um, another white and a gold. And I will leave these in the packaging because I have several opened already. But I don't know how long they're going to keep these around. And they are equivalent to the ones I get at the Sharpie ones that are $5. I mean, that's, they're good. These are, they work. I don't know how much, you know, if they have the same amount of ink or whatnot in them, but for a dollar, they work great. So I grabbed three of those and they'll just go in behind me. There's a basket right in there. That basket has a lot of my backup ink and pens and stuff for now that I have found at the Dollar Tree. Hmm. Sorry. I don't need you. You don't need Nope. Okay. Thought I had something in my tube. I found one more of these. So I grab them, like I said before. For me, these are one-time use. And I instead of using chalk, I would use a white paint pen on here. And then it's permanent. So these are one-time use, especially because I'm sticking them in food. I really wouldn't want to keep that. Um, I don't know what is in my tooth, but it's annoying. So yeah, and I just mark on it what it is. So as I see them, I grab them and I throw them in my entertaining bucket that's out in the garage. And I found these. They had them in hearts and then they had this shape, which I love. These are awesome for like gifting. Obviously, I'm going to show you some gift ideas that I have with mugs. And I could totally tie this on the outside and put like a to and from on it. And you get four of them. They had hearts and they had these. 
So I'm going to start kind of stocking up on some more of these because another good thing is like on your coffee container, on your tea container, you know, things at your coffee bar, or you can use them for a hundred thousand things. And again, I would probably not use chalk. I would use the marker pen and just consider it disposable. There would be a quarter a piece and totally worth it to me. So these go, this goes into my crafting stash and this goes outside in the garage in my entertaining container. I picked up two of these. I'm going to make another advent calendar for a co-worker's um, granddaughter. I will tell you though, at Target, they have an advent calendar. It's $3 and you can fill it yourself. And that's just as cheap as making one, really, and easier. You, I don't, I think the middle slides out, you put your candies in, you close it up, you know, you put it back in. It's like a clothes box, it feels like. And then they can rip open the little tabs and whatever candy or treat or message you put in there, they can pull out. So that is super fun. Um, I'm doing this for my coworker because I told her I would make her one. And I had picked these up before I saw the $3 ones at the Target dollar spot. So you need these con uh, condiment containers if you want to make for 24 days. If you want to do the 12 days leading up to Christmas. So if they're really young, it might be like the 12 days before Christmas. I would use, you know, one package and then you can do two kids. However you want to do it. But if you want to make it or have them decorate it and make it and then you fill it, buy these and do it yourself. If you want to surprise them but you want to put control the candy... $3 at the Target dollar spot is perfect. Um, for gifting again, I picked up, I'm loving this poinsettia pattern. And I've used these last year for my neighbors and they work great. These are two boxes and I can show you how they go together. Tins are fabulous too, but you know, if you just want to give a box of cookies to somebody and I have older neighbors and they're, you know, they don't need a bunch of cookies. And so they open up, let me just fold this. And these worked out perfect last year. I need to pack, pick up one more package. Um, I don't know why I only got one when I was there, but and you can see the cookies inside, but look how small. I mean, this is perfect for one or two people's worth of cookies. Generally, for two people, I give this size. For one person, I'll show you. I have gift bags. And they even come with a little sticker to seal the bags up. I mean, I just think they're adorable. And this poinsettia pattern is so retro to me. I love it. So these are great. Um, I wouldn't necessarily give it to somebody if you're going to think they want to store the cookies or put them inside of a bag inside of these boxes. I'm trying to flatten this back down, and it does not want to go. There we go. Okay, here we go. Whew, I did it. Sort of. Yes, I did. So, you get two in a package. And I thought that was perfect. And on the same lines, for family that I'm going to give more cookies to, I grabbed two more of these. These are great. This is an airtight container. It would hold a decent amount of cookies for a family of four or five. I mean, you know, for, for kids or whatnot. Um... I love these. So here's my little trick. I don't, I buy the ones that I don't love the best to give away and like the red truck I'm keeping. <laughs> so I got the gingerbread house one, which this will go to my cousins the night we're making gingerbread houses and I'll fill it full of Christmas cookies and she can keep it. But we're doing, it's like a theme. We're doing gingerbread houses and I will bring that to her. And then this one will probably go to my brother and his wife and mother-in-law at their house full of cookies. Um, the one that I have for me with the red truck, I have two of them. One of them is going to hold all of my Christmas bullet journal card stuff. Stickers, pens, markers, everything I use for my bullet journaling and for when I do Christmas cards and stuff, if I want stickers and things like that, it's all gonna go in one of those. And then when I put you know, when Christmas is over, I'll store it somewhere behind me that needs organized um, for next season. I thought that was a good plan. And it's festive. I picked up, speaking of planners, I got one of these. I opened it up to see something. 
about it. These are, where'd my tag go? Oh, here we go. These are the window decorations. And the reason I opened them, there is window decoration and there's window cling. The window cling does not stick to paper. This is sticky on the back, like a sticker. Now I will probably put a little glue just to kind of help it along, but these are sticker, sticky. And I was thinking for my planner or whatever, but oh, look at the red truck. And then the Christmas tree, and this says Season's Greetings, and the snowflakes. One of these might go on my car window. I want to figure out a way to stick it on the inside, but quite frankly, it's such a short season, I guess it doesn't matter. But I could put a snowman on the back of my car on the window, and these will come right off. So it's not like it's a permanent thing, but I just think these are adorable. So I grab these, and what you're looking at are if you want them to stick to paper, is the window decals. I think it's what you said, right? Window decoration, not window cling. If it looks clear and like cellophane-y, those aren't adhesive on the back. There's no adhesion. These are self-sticky, which is perfect. But you can also stick them on your window, but I'm going to use them for other things, like you do. Um, for gifting, these are snow if they're very basic which is what I want because cookies will go in here treats will go in here um I have one neighbor and she's a single lady like me and she will just get a bag of the, of cookies but look at that bag isn't that neat it's just um snowflakes and I just thought that is perfect winter bags to do my gifting for work as well. Like I can put the treats inside of here and slide them into mugs or whatever. Um, but I like these. And all this stuff, you know, obviously it was at the Dollar Tree, but you kind of just want to grab it when you see it. Things tend to fly off the shelves. Um, for example, and at the end I have a um, friend mail to share with you. So I'm super excited. But... These will go in with my decoration stuff, like these along with those tags. I have a box for like putting things together and that'll, that will go in there. I did pick up a green Christmas tree for my desk at work. I'm going to decorate it and I will bring you along while we decorate this. Um, yeah, so I like to take it to work and then I can just kind of throw it away. If I don't want to bring it home and repackage it. But we've all seen a hundred of those. So not too much time spent there. Okay, we're getting down to the wire, kids. I grabbed a three pack of these. Oh, look at these. These are just the little tiny bags, which again are perfect for work. Fill them up with, which is what we're going to do, is fill them up with treats or candy or gifts and leave them on your coworker's desk. And they're just the perfect little size. And you have nothing to do but open them up. They come with a little tag if you want to put on there. Um, you get the snowman. Oh, look at the penguin. You get the penguin and then you get Santa Claus. And there are three of them for a dollar. And that's perfect. You know, for just a little gift to throw on your somebody's desk and just be like, hey, you know, I'm thinking of you. So I grabbed a three pack of those for now. We'll see what I need because I have a lot of mugs and stuff. So I'm not 100% sure what I'm going to need for packaging. Generally, gift bags are going to be everywhere. But I thought these were adorable. So I grabbed them. And they go in with that. Um, I have three more things. Speaking of gift bags. Come on, guys. Please. Do you see how adorable this is? The sides are just white snowflakes. This is the Voila brand. It's very French. It's very French. And it's not sparkly or shiny or glittery on either side. Um, I don't do a lot of gift bagging just because I like to wrap presents. However, um, I like to package gifts per family if I'm leaving the house with them. So this one might be for my sister-in-law and her husband and son. So my niece, Sarah, who I make everything for, hi girl. Her mom, stepdad, and brother. 
So I do share Christmas gifts with them. And one of the packages is super small. And I'm like, girl, I'm going to lose this. So I will put all the packages in a bag this size with the family name. And everything will be individually wrapped in here. Oh, look at that. Oh, guys, I'm obsessed. Everything will be individually wrapped and in here. And when I leave to go uh, caroling or whenever I'm going to see them, I can just take this whole bag. And then if I don't put their name on it, I can bring any gifts that I would get home in this. So it kind of works both ways. And then for our not so farmy farmhouse folk, look at this one. And that is straight up glitter bomb. I love this. I just think it's kind of retro, but it definitely doesn't say farmhouse to me. It says kind of Scandinavian. Oh, look at the side. I just love the detail, you know, on these bags. The back is not glitter, just the front. And it just says Joy Peace on it. And it's a great, and these are nice quality bags this year. Uh, it doesn't say how big it is, but I can tell you because I have my mat down. It is 17 inches long, and it's going to be 5 inches deep. So that's a pretty good size package for folks. I grabbed one of those, and I have one more item to share, which I'm obsessed. Again, I'm always obsessed. And then I'll show you my friend mail. I need you guys to just make sure you're breathing. Keep breathing. Look at the fake fur. Now, this is adorable. The little faux fur up here and the little buffalo check, it's felt on the back. Um, gifting, you could totally fill this up with presents to gift to somebody. I'm actually thinking I'm gonna hang it on my mantle. I used to hang stockings every year for my whole family, but it's just me that lives here, so I don't need all of that. And this goes with my decor. And, you know, I might just stuff some, like, tissue down in it to make it look open. But is this not adorable? And if you're into making gnomes, you could buy these and just cut this off for the gnome. I don't think it's very cost effective, but if you wanted to, you could. Um, if you're doing the gnome thing, I would go to the hard to the har hardware store. No, I would go to, um, like, Joanne and buy a quarter of a yard of the fabric. Oops. Okay, so I'm going to take this tag off and take this out. And I, oh, this is a perfect pattern, by the way. If you all want to make your own stockings with the kids, you could cut felt out and hot glue it together and let them decorate. And this is a perfect pattern. I'm just saying. Anyway, here's what the stocking looks like. Is this a great quality? No. Is it going to look super cute hanging on my mantle? Absolutely. You know, I mean, it's, this is pretty fluffed up. It's not bad for a dollar, guys. Yeah, it needs a lint brush, but whatever. So this, I think, is my favorite today. And it is adorable. Now I'm thinking I should have got more than just one. But I don't need more than one. Hanging on my mantle. The boys have stockings. They're little ones, and they'll actually match this. They're red, and they have their initials on them. And I got them at Kohl's. They're like um, knitted, like a knit hat. Not that anything goes in the stockings, because... They have baskets that they get for Christmas, but anywho. Um, yes, I love this. I'm super excited. Okay, friend mail. Oh, you guys, I am so blessed on this channel. Um, you know, I've been whining for quite some time that I couldn't find the red truck, and it was bothering me. Um, I hope it's okay. I'll say your first name. Elsie reached out to me, and she found one, and she mailed it to me. Isn't that the sweetest thing ever? I love it. I'm so happy to have it. And look at the detail here, guys. I'm not doing a dang thing to this, but sitting it up in a window or putting it on my mantle. That's it. Okay, maybe I'll touch up the glitter so it doesn't... Oh, no, it's not... Well, yeah, I'll touch up the glitter. But look at that. Isn't that perfect? Maybe I could put a sticker of a little person sitting in the window. So, Elsie, thank you so much. I appreciate it. I still have not found any of these. So, I'm super happy. Thank you. And then I got a card, a homemade card. Guys, I, I again, I'm so blessed. A homemade Halloween card. And this is 
from Rosemary and her channel. I think the note said she has a new channel. It, I thought it was You Rock Art. Um, maybe it's called Rosemary's You Rock Art now. Um, and she sent me a note and it was so kind. And how sweet. A guitar pick from her band, which is called Given Time. That was so sweet. Thank you, Rosemary. I appreciate this. And I'm on the hunt for that book for you, for sure. And I might have come across somebody who has it. So I'll let you know. But yeah, isn't that the sweetest card? I think that's me. I think so. And I'm going to put this on my wall over here of funness. I'm super excited. And so thank you all so much. Um, there will be a dedicated video going out for the Christmas card exchange. I already started buying Christmas stamps. I bought my first book today. Um, just to get in preparation. I've been buying Christmas cards. I'm super excited. I need to clean up my craft room again. That seems to be a theme in my life. This room is a disaster all the time, but I need to put all the fall and Halloween stuff away and I need to bring out the Christmas tote of crafty goodness so we can start creating more stuff um sneak peek the next video that i'm going to have out so this one will probably go out tuesday on thursday we're going to talk about food and um little gifty food things for work friends schools teachers these are perfect teacher gifts throw a gift card in with it so thursdays will be about food and food vessels and putting to get the things I'm picking up to put together little baskets and bags and blue dolls and bibbity bops and all the things because we're already at 21 minutes. <laughs> all right, guys, you have a fantastic day and I will talk to you later. Bye.